Yo, what is popping today, beautiful people? Welcome back to another episode of Fishing with Flynn, man. I don't know how well you guys can actually see because the sun got a little shadow casting or whatever. But, man, I am out here at the pond already. Kind of, sort of, sort of, not really. I still have about half a mile walk through the woods with the kayak. Yes, I said it. Through the woods with a kayak, man. It should be fun it's always a little sketchy but this place is holds a special place in my heart i don't know it just seemed like the fish out here are just just different and it's hidden so i mean it is what it is today's goal man we're just gonna get to fishing and try to catch as many fish as we can man i, I still i've had some pretty good days this year but i haven't had days where it's just like i haven't had that one day where it's like bro like i caught them so hopefully that changes it is pretty chilly this morning but the later on the later it gets in the day the warmer it gets i suppose i think it's supposed to be like 80 it's probably like 50 60 right now so yeah um i got fishbowl windows and people are looking at me well this car is just looking at me but anyways i'm about to go ahead and unload the kayak man and get everything situated and we're gonna go ahead and get straight to the video let's get it guys I've made it out to the pond, man. About to launch the yak. I ain't gonna lie. I am honestly surprised. And like, when I tell you guys, I'm like really, really happy right now. This pond is literally always muddy to the point where you can only throw black and blue or white. This pond has cleared up a lot since the last time I've actually seen it. So I'm excited and surprised all at the same time man today is i'm telling you guys right now it's gonna be a great day i'm gonna start out with the white chatter bait with the uh paddle tail swim bait it's kind of like got like a little chartreuse color on it and i literally cast this out first cast and got hit like literally right here but we going to go find some good ones man I'm excited, man. <laughs> I promise it's gonna be a good day. These fish should be pre spawn or uh, bedding somewhere. It's gonna be a good day. Make sure I got everything, which I think I do. Drop the drive system, drop the rudder, light vest on, camera gear. Thing set. GoPro in the front. Let's go ahead and make a few casts along this bank, man. I'm excited about this. Got one. <laughs> He hit it right at the boat. Hurry up and get in here. Yes, sir. I didn't even get a chance to hit because he hit it right at the boat. I hope I'm recording. Yes, I am recording. <laughs> First fish of the day on the chatterbait, man. Nice little fish, man. It's a nice little pounder, man. Nice fish. Little pale guy. Get this guy back. Oops. Literally, he hit it. It's crazy. He hit it at the boat. Like, as I was pulling it out the water, he just slightly just grabbed it. On the white jackhammer chatterbait, man. Hands down, my favorite bait of all time is the chatterbait. Then jerkbait, maybe. But just can't go wrong, man. Got another one with the camera off, you guys. I literally just turned the camera off. This is a good one. I think he's better than that first one. Yes, that's a good pass. Come on, play it slow. Play it slow. Come on. Get in the bowl. Oh my gosh, it's a good pass. It's a freaking good pass. We're definitely winning this guy. Literally, Ew, this guy has all kind of 
scars and crap on them. This, this, this a nasty bass. Look at this bass, you guys. Dude, he has like. Look at that. Yes, sir. This is. This has to be a three pounder. Look at that bass, man. Look at this bass. Let's get a weight on this girl, man. And it's crazy, not on the bed. On a freaking white chatterbait. All cleared out. It's a two pounder. One pound, 14 ounces, pretty much a two pound fish. There's no way. No way. No way this is a two pound fish right here, man. That's crazy. Get this girl back. Let's go. Look at her. Just swim off so gracefully. Came right off this tree over here. Just throwing. Just throwing up shallow, man. Told y'all, man. It's gonna be a great day out here on the water today. This pond is really, really like that, you guys. Hands down, one of my, not hands down, one. It is the favorite pond to fish. Got one, you guys. Got one. Stay down. That's how you reel into them, baby. Black and blue crawl. I haven't had a bite in about 30 minutes. And then turn up tied on the black and blue crawl. Cracking crawl. Let's go. This guy's fighting good. He's feisty. He's not as big as that last one, but he's feisty. I let him eat it. Get in the boat. He wasn't going nowhere. Let's freaking go. That's a good fish too, man. Nice little pounder, guys. Ah. I'm gonna have to try to get this guy back quick. He literally swallowed it, which I let him eat it on purpose because I've missed a lot of bites. I didn't think he was gonna swallow it that good. I'm gonna have to go through the gills, man. Teach y'all a little trick. If you go through the side of the gills, gotta be careful. You don't want to damage their gills. But if you can get through there clean, grab that hook and just Spin it out, and it pops right out. Yeah, he's bleeding a little bit, so we're gonna go ahead and get this guy back with a nice little pounder, man. See if he's okay. Oh, and she's gone, man. That came on this black and blue crawl. First cast with it. I saw a splash, tied this on, and just threw in there. And got the job done. Black and blue crawl, baby. One pincher, let's see if we can Get another one on it. I'm gonna keep these up front with me. Finally, man. Well, people, that's gonna do it for today's video, man. It's actually been a few days. Um, I actually forgot to film an outro for this video, man. Um, overall, the day was it was okay, man. It was a lot of it was one of those days where just a lot of things weren't going in my favor. I kept getting hung up. Um, the bites were, were real far in between as you guys can, can tell, but, um, yeah. And then it, it, it kind of got sketchy at the end. Like when I tell you guys, this pond is like out in the woods, middle of nowhere, don't have no trespass signs or anything. There is a business that's close to it. So I'm assuming it's their property or something like that. But, um, there's a gate where you can't drive your car down to the pond, but, Apparently, while I was out fishing, somebody drew, definitely drove their car or their truck down by the pond, and there's literally nothing back there but the pond, and they just kind of drove by, somehow turned around. I still don't know how they managed to turn around. It's literally, it's literally the width of 
a vehicle. So I don't know. Apparently they turned around and then came back up. I don't know if they saw me or not while I was out there in the kayak, but it was sketchy because like I said, man, it's just out in the middle of the woods, man. We live in a crazy world. So after that happened, I kind of just got up and left and hit a few more spots, um, not on the kayak, but on foot, didn't have any more luck. So that's kind of why this video kind of just ended the way it did. Like it was just, it was just a sketchy, uncomfortable situation, even though I wasn't in the wrong for fishing this place. But um, yeah, we ended up catching three, caught that one, two pounder. So it was a pretty, pretty solid day, but it could have been better if I would have fished it longer, but I didn't. So thank you guys for tuning in. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, man. And I will catch you on the next video and I'm out. Y'all stay safe. Y'all stay beautiful. Peace.